at the uh, Craddock Hotel or behind it. Um, <clears throat> so it's a free camping spot. They just ask that you have a beer or a meal in the pub. In the pub. Um, so yeah. Great little spot. Got here at about lunchtime, had a little look around the town. It's not much here. <laughs> no, there used to be a lot here, but um, well worth a stop, particularly. Yeah, the um, buildings that are here are really pretty, the older yep. ones. Yeah, yep. lovely stone buildings. Um, so we're here in a bit of a, a desert car park, which is kind of cool. I like it. So a few other campers here as well. <clears throat> so um, Brenton had a shower here. They um, take dollar coins. Yep. And he had a really good shower for five dollars. Yeah. Oh, four dollars. Four dollars. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, well worth a stop off. Yeah, if you're up this way for sure, um, it's well worth a stop. It's, as a, uh, Ken said, it's free. All you got to do is have um, a beer. You don't have to have a meal, but a beer. Um, that's it. Awesome. Yeah. So but we are going to have a meal. Apparently, they're really good. Very big. We're going to head in and um, yeah, have something to eat. And it's actually been really nice just to rest for a day. I haven't been feeling that shit hot, so yeah, I think a meal out would be nice. Yeah. So we've got the pig Akubra here and a lovely sunset at Craddock. Now we've seen some pretty big gum trees uh, in our travels around. This is pretty spectacular. Check this baby out. It's massive. It's um, 10.89 meters um, at about half a bit over half a meter off the ground. The first branches don't appear, like the big ones, don't appear until six meters high. So this guy is just huge. Estimated over 500 years old, um, and it's in looking in good health. So uh, very good. Very nicely restored pug and pine cottage. Uh, this is one of the very first buildings in uh, Uluru.
So we are in Uru, and this is uh, the historic Red Bridge. So it would have been a railway, what, railway bridge at the time. Um, really pretty. Yeah. So there's some Aboriginal engravings here on the stone. It's like really awesome stone formations. formations. They're just gnarly. if that would freak me out as a kid or not. I think it looks a bit, um, a bit creepy. <laughs> yeah, the consensus is out definitely a bit creepy. It is a bit creepy but it's um, it's just simply called a climbing tree. Yeah I know but it looks like a like a spidery limmy creepy kind of come into my web. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cross between a spider and a snake and a alien and yeah. all that. Mm. Fun. Quite a pretty um, park reserve area down here at Uru. It is very nice. We didn't do it because I've still got a cold um, and we've got things to do. But if you carry on that walk where we saw the Aboriginal engravings in the rock, um, you will come out to the old reservoir. That's so about a two and a half kilometre walk. Yeah, it takes about an hour, two and a half kilometre walk on the return. You get to see the um, uh, rock poem. So a uh, guy back in the late 1800s uh, engraved two poems into some rocks. We might drive around there and have a look at that. Um, so that's uh, quite an interesting uh, little thing. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little loop walk through the reservoir and the mm. Aboriginal uh, engravings. Yeah, Uru definitely has a lot to offer. Yep, for such a little town. Yeah.
poor Roland Nutt is dead and in the tomb the schoolmate whom I loved in, in former years. And Murray Stoyle sleeps in the silent gloom. His brilliant soul hath fled to other spheres. And other friends I love are scattered wide. The dear companions of my youthful days. And I am now departing. O'er the tide. O'er the tide. But with these scenes in my heart forever stays. So this is when I think he went overseas to the war. Wow, it's pretty deep, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. It is very cool. Imagine, like, uh, art and things like that weren't appreciated so much in the bush back in the day. So he came down here as a young adolescent um, and carved these into the rock so that no one could see them. But look where it is right though. Hang on, it's pretty <laughs> treacherous. So it's in the cage and this is where we are. Pretty cool, eh? is by D. MacDonald, June 6, 1896. Wow. There, there's two poems there. The top one and then there's the bottom one. Uh-huh. And that's dated, I think, February the 6th, 1901. Yeah, right. So I'm here at the Peterborough Motorcycle Museum, um, did a little bit of research about it, there's some pretty cool bikes in here, including one that was uh, done up for a band member out of Slade, um, see if you can pick which one it is, I'll take you inside and show you.
So we're sitting at our uh, little camp uh, in Yunta and a train went by, or is going by, still going by. Seriously, this is a long train. I've been recording it on my phone the whole time and I'm up to two minutes <laughs> and it's still going. Still no end inside. It's still no end inside. <laughs> um, it's actually really quiet. He's going really slow, which is nice. Um, so we're staying here at, um, yeah, it's a just a campground across the road from the Yanta Hotel. Um, it's a donation you know, self-contained, blah, blah, you know, the drill. So, yeah. There was kind of some low-lying ones there and didn't have much on them. But coming up, Check out some of this. Graffiti on it. Oh, double stories. Yep. Double stacked forty foot containers. Ooh. And it's still going. Not to four minutes. Comes the end, my friend. Oh, there's a Kent one. Kent removals. So we're up to five minutes and thirty five seconds. <laughs> So you know you're in the outback when uh, your sunset looks like this. <laughs> so we're in um, a little tiny town called Coburn. It's on the South Australia New South Wales border. Uh, tomorrow we're actually going to go through to Broken Hill. But what a ripper of a sunset. Uh, we're staying at the caravan park here which is a donation $10 and um, you pay at the Coburn Hotel and maybe have a beer and support the local business there as well. Uh, yeah, so pretty epic sunset. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed our little trip from Craddock to Coburn. If you have, give us a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it helps grow our little channel and it doesn't cost you anything so we really appreciate that uh, join us next week as we explore broken hill this is outside normal over and out <laughs>